Hi friends, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we are setting up my October bullet journal monthly spread. And I did take a page from Amanda Rachel again, uh, same as I did last month. I wanted to stick with a theme that was very reminiscent of last month as well. So I really like the black and gold, the black and silver, and this one was no exception. So I did give this spread my own monthly touches. And even though it's technically a moon phase, you'll see there's a few times I messed up on the moon phases, but I can go back and fix them later on. So the first page here is kind of like a title page, but instead of just having like a, a large quote on the page, I decided to draw this black half moon with some silver stars in the middle and a bat. And I did some lettering work. And also you can see there that I used my white gel pen to cover up any flaws. I do that occasionally throughout these spreads and it's perfect because um, as long as you have a really opaque white gel pen, it covers up any black ink that you lay down. So my quote this time is, it's time to fly witches, which I thought was so fitting because it's October, um, it's to do with the moon phases and it's just, I think it's perfect for October. So when I first did the title page for October, I didn't actually fill out the entire moon. I just did the little half moons, but then you'll see soon that I go back and I change it because I just didn't like, like the way it looked. And I did try to keep my font similar throughout the spread, but um, as my writing tends to, I always end up changing it halfway through. Um, you'll see that it, it kind of stays the same but I write October in black in the middle. And here you'll see I'm just coloring in each of the moons. And also as usual, I will leave all of the supplies I have used in this video down below. So go down there, be sure to check them out. And if you are interested in purchasing, you can use my link. It is an affiliate link through Amazon. And you can purchase any of the products at no extra cost to yourself while also giving me a hand as well. Okay, so um, now you'll see that I'm adding my monthly tab. So these tabs are actually from Erin Condren and in my past bullet journals I have been doing, um, I, I used the colored ones and this time this bullet journal just, I love the idea of having black tabs. So I decided to use those and here you can see that I'm drawing in the full moon and then I go back in with my white gel pen to fix my mistakes. So now the second spread is my calendar. And lately I have been staying away from doing the grid style calendars. I don't know if it's because it's more work or if it's because it just takes longer to create the boxes and count all the squares, but I really do enjoy this kind of like original writer Carol style of list calendar. And then what it does, I put my line down the center along with my, my days of the week, and then I can break my calendar up into halves. So the first half is my personal. So anything that goes on, um, whether it's an appointment or whether I have to go to the grocery store. And then the right side is for school and that's strictly for my son. So that will deal with any of his appointments or um, school teacher meets or um, even early dismissal. So I write that there. It just kind of helps to break it up so that I don't have this long run on sentence for an entire page. And I can just kind of glance at it quickly and see it easier. The other page is my content schedule. So here I write all of my YouTube video postings as well as my blog dates. And then at the very bottom, I was going to draw out the little moon phases all across the bottom, but I decided to go into my Simply Gilded washi tape stash and I use this really pretty ombre silver um, foil washi tape. It's actually silver holographic foil and I thought it was perfect. So yes, it's not black and white, but it does have that touch of silver and it goes with my silver theme this month. So these next two pages are a little, a little more boring. Uh, basically all they are are my affirmations and gratitude. So I do find that when I do these pages every month, I feel like I'm a bit more positive and this really helps for journaling and reflecting. And I don't normally journal in my bullet journal, but um, this is the only place I do affirmations and gratitude, so I really enjoy it. And again, I add that same washi tape to the bottom. Um, very, very easy. I just add the numbers 1 to 31 along the side, and then each day I fill out one line. Okay, again, as per usual, I add my weight tracker. So uh, during pregnancy for me, this is very important. I like to see how my weight's fluctuating. And even though my scale at home is definitely not as accurate, as the scale of the doctor's office. It is precise because I measure my weight the same time every day. 
And for those of you who say that it's not healthy to measure my weight every day, I don't do it to see an increase or decrease in my weight necessarily. I do it to see an overall trend. So um, I, I don't really stress about the numbers every day. I just, I like seeing the trend. And I have been doing this since I started my bullet journal uh, four years ago or five years ago now. So this next spread is my water tracker. So again, kind of along the same lines, um, as I drink my water throughout the day, I just fill in each of those circles and I can write any notes beside it. And that just helps me remember that yes, I do need to drink my bottles of water throughout the day. I'm just trimming off the washi tape here with scissors because it was too hard to tear. I left it too short to rip off of the ruler. So now I'm going in to my dream log. So again, a pretty boring spread, but I find that when I'm pregnant, I really remember all of my dreams. I think it's just the amount of times I wake up during the night and that I always wake up in the middle of a REM cycle. So I remember my dreams. Currently for September, I'm already done a full page, which is crazy to me. So here again, you can see that I'm fixing my mistake, but this time I used whiteout because it was a line that was easier to fix with whiteout. So I'm doing my habit spread now. And again, I personally like to write a little X in each of these boxes. So I have many habits that I track. And this is again for my own peace of mind, um, just to, to show that I've done all of these things. One of the hardest habits I've been finding difficult to track lately is uh, one of my medications that I've had to change the timing of. I used to take two every night and because of my recent health scare, I started taking one in the morning and one in the evening and it's so easy to forget. So I've been tracking it using this tracker and it has been more than helpful. The bottom spread is my mood tracker and I really only count, I suppose, five moods. So I have like really super upset, upset, meh, happy, and then ecstatic. And then at the very top, because I did have extra room, I put one with a little O face, just if it was surprise or, you know, something crazy happens, I can write it in there. And again, this one's simple. I treat it like a bar graph. So um, I just kind of go up the scale on the left, depending how I feel that day. And it has been working for me. I don't think I've changed this in probably the last two or three years. So this is the very last spread. Again, my weekly spread, I did take another page from Amanda's playbook. And I took the um, kind of like the moon theme idea. I put the date of the week in the center. And then I just drew lines to each of the days where I can write my little notes that I have to do each day. And while I don't love this, I really do prefer the Dutch door style spreads. I don't want to be doing Dutch doors every single day of the week because it just eats up your bullet journal. And I want to make sure that I can use this bullet journal up at least until December. So the second week I might try a Dutch door. It just depends how much room this allows me. Um, usually if you guys have seen my Franklin planner spreads, I have a lot of to do's every single day. So I'm adding some washi tape to the bottom and that is it. And we will do a final flip through. So I'm so glad you guys took the time out of your day to watch this video. Thank you. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, click on the little thumbs up button at the bottom. And again, if you want to be updated whenever I post new videos, make sure you hit that bell notification button so that every time I post something, you'll get notified. So thanks again, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, friends.